New York City, the concrete jungle where dreams are made, has a new architectural puzzle. You may have heard of Italy's Leaning Tower of Pisa or San Francisco Tilting Millennium Tower, but did you know that the Big Apple now has its slanted skyscraper? Yes, it's true, this Leaning Tower is causing quite a stir in the city that never sleeps. Buckle up as we dive into a tilting journey. And remember to like and subscribe to stay updated on our newest videos. The Leaning Tower is one seaport, or 161 Maiden Lane, a 60-story building on Manhattan's eastern waterfront. Although it may appear like any other construction project in the city, a closer look reveals it's leaning 3 inches or 8 centimeters to the north. This seemingly slight tilt has left the brand new skyscraper abandoned before it's even opened, with construction stalled and no one willing to admit fault. One seaport was said to be the tallest residential skyscraper on Manhattan's eastern waterfront, with apartment sales ranging from 1 to 7 million. However, several construction delays have been experienced, from accidents to legal battles resulting in a string of bad luck for the project. Today, the Leaning Tower sits unfinished, with only half of its windows and exterior finishing in place. The Leaning Tower has become a flaw on the New York skyline, casting a gloom over the city's highly competitive and costly real estate market. But what is the root cause of the problem? There are many allegations and foundation issues plaguing the skyscraper. The main issue plaguing one seaport is its foundation, which provides a firm base for a skyscraper to rise. Building a foundation in New York City is not a walk in the park due to the hyperdense atmosphere and restricted area available for construction. So, to glimpse the foundation issue, let us look from an engineering angle. To understand the allegations surrounding the one seaport's foundation, it's essential to grasp the basics of foundation engineering. Simply, it implies a foundation's job is to transmit the weight of a facility onto the surface of the earth. Soil is crucial in this process as it determines a foundation's bearing capacity and strength. At one seaport, allegations and blame games have emerged over the foundation's quality. So let's look at the allegations. At the center of the Leaning Tower's troubles is an ongoing lawsuit between the building's contractor, Pizzerotti, and the developer, Fortis Property Group. Pizzerotti claimed that Fortis cut corners using soil improvement method instead of the more expensive and reliable piling method. Pizzerotti alleges that the soil improvement method caused the building to improperly settle and tilt, ultimately leading to its current state. Fortis, on the other hand, blames the contractor's concrete work for the lean. The case is still being contested in court, where both parties are pointing fingers at each. Unfortunately, the blame game will not solve the problem unless they find a solution. So how can the involved parties solve the problem? There are several potential solutions to fix one seaport's lean, but first, the root cause of the problem must be determined. If the foundation is the primary issue, the engineers may take more drastic measures, such as dismantling parts of the building and reconstructing the foundation. One possible solution is underpinning, which involves installing new piles into the building's underground foundation. While this method is typical for smaller structures, it's incredibly challenging for a skyscraper like one seaport. But they can try, as the structure already faces other challenges like financial problems and leaving it incomplete will only worsen the situation. One of the main challenges that have come up as a result of the stalled construction is financial fallout. With construction stalled and legal battles ongoing, the Leaning Tower's financial impact continues to grow. Many investors have pulled out of their deals. Unfortunately, the tower has lost a lot of money which has been spent on its construction. This has rendered the project to be a costly lesson. The story of New York's Leaning Tower is a cautionary tale for the developer contractors, and everyone else involved in the construction. Cutting corners and hiring inexperienced crews can result in costly mistakes that can severely impact a project's success. From the One Seaport project, there are two main mistakes we can observe. Number one, one contributing factor to the Leaning Tower's woes is the use of non-union labor. Union construction workers in New York are known for their experience and quality of work. 
And developers who opt for non-union delivery often face the consequences of their decisions. Number 2. The Seaside Condominiums Project, known as the Leaning Tower of Pizzerati, has suffered multiple work stoppages, a tragic worker death, and criminal charges against one contractor. These severe issues underscore the importance of hiring skilled, unionized workers for construction projects. So, what is next for one seaport? It still needs to be clarified how the future of New York's Leaning Tower will be shaped, with ongoing legal battles, potential engineering challenges, and a tarnished reputation, it remains to be seen if the tower will ever stand straight again. Despite the current state of the Leaning Tower, there is still hope that it may be corrected and completed. With the right solution and proper execution, New York could become a symbol of resilience and redemption. However, for now, one seaport symbolizes what can go wrong in a construction project. It's a powerful show of the importance of the construction industry's work and the many people who rely on it daily. What does this Leaning Tower remind us of? Firstly, the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. Italy's Leaning Tower of Pisa is the most famous leaning tower in the world and has been standing tall despite its tilt for over 800 years. Although the situations differ, one cannot help but compare New York's Leaning Tower to this iconic structure. Secondly, San Francisco's Millennium Tower. Another famous leaning tower in the USA, San Francisco's Millennium Tower faces tilting issues. Engineers have proposed fixing the building lean with underpinnings, which could also be applied to New York's leaning tower. As we come to the end of our roller coaster ride through the story of New York's Tower of Pisa, it's essential to reflect on the lessons we can learn from this tilted tale. Two significant lessons are clear from the tale. Firstly, the Leaning Tower is a cautionary tale of the importance of quality work and expertise in the construction industry. Cutting corners and hiring inexperienced crews can lead to disastrous consequences, as evidenced by one seaport's troubles. Secondly, the legal battle between Pizzerati and Fortis emphasizes the need for trust and transparency between contractors and developers. Open communication and a clear understanding of project details can prevent costly disputes and construction delays. What do you think is the solution to New York's Leaning Tower? Let's have your answer in the comments section below. All in all, the story of New York's Leaning Tower is an intriguing and engaging exploration of the challenges and gains of the construction industry. While the tower's future remains uncertain, its tilted tales are a powerful reminder of the importance of quality work, expertise, and the need for responsible development in the ever-evolving world of architecture and construction. So, next time you gaze upon the city's skyline, spare a thought for the Leaning Tower and remember the lessons it teaches us about the delicate balance between ambition and responsibility in construction. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, like, and share. We are happy to update you on new mega projects and architectures as they happen. For more mind-blowing content, check out our previous videos.